what we're going to do, finding limits analytically. Analytically, so before we learn how to find limits using the table, now we're going to use equations to find limits. So this is showing you how to read limits. So if you have a limit, x approaches 3, x appro when x approaches 2, for the limit 3, the limit is 3, they're telling you that. Uh, so that means the limit is 3. That's what this means. When this when you write a function, like the limit of 2x plus 3, that's the limit there. But you, had, that's, it, you don't know what the value is there, so you, you, you solve it. But that's, this is telling you that the limit here is 2x plus 3 as x approaches 2. So if something like the limit of the limit of x, you could write it this way too, as x approaches 4, plug 4 in is f of negative. Negative 4 is negative 4. Right, so, the, so the limit as x approaches x 2 squared as x approaches 2 would be 2 squared which is 4 so yeah right. let's say I have a function like this find the limit as of f of x squared as x approaches 3 for x is now here's the thing if let's draw a graph if if you have a graph like this and you want to find the limit as x approaches 2, two what will be the limit? let's say this is the function of the graph x, 4x squared plus 3 right so it's x squared plus 3 so maybe the graph is like this right and you want to find the value if the value of x is the point at which you get the value of y which is the limit because if, if if x gives you whatever value of y is and then you could use that value to, sh to, to say well this is the limit isn't that the same as finding the y value if you have to find this point here this is the point you want to find so in order to find this point you have to um, use a function to if you, you, you actually find the y value so to find this point you find the y value how do we find the y value when x is 2 for any function you, you only have to use plug 2 into the function and you will find the y value and that y value would be equal to the, to the limit so let's see you know so what you do is you just plug 4 into the 2 into the equation you get 4, four 2 2 is 4 plus 3 4 4 16 plus 3 19 so it means that this value here would be 19 and the point at which you get closer to from your left and right side would be 19 so that means the limit as x approaches 2 is equal to 19. So that means if you want to find a limit of any point, you just plug it into the function. And you, if, you devalue, if you get a value, that would be the, the limit. That's the limit at which the value of x is 2 for the function. So now we're going to do rational functions. Rational functions are functions that look have a over b. For example, the limit, find the limit of x of 1 for x squared plus x plus 2 divided by x plus 1. So, once again, you plug 1 to the function. Hope nothing goes wrong. So, you get 1 squared plus 1 plus 2 all over 1 plus 1 1 1 is 1 1 plus 1 is 2 2 3 4 4 over 1 plus 1 is 2 which is equal to 2 2 so the limit as x approaches 1 is 2 
cell composite functions so let's say you have find the limit of x which is 0 for the function x squared plus 4 square root of that so to find the function of that you, you plug it in you, you plug it into the equation so we get 0 squared plus 4 if I square root of that is equal to square root of 4 which is equal to 2 so the limit as x approaches 0 is 2 number b find the limit as x approaches 3 for the function 2x squared minus 10 2x squared minus 10 so now you have find the limit x approaches to now 10 cube so now you plug 3 into the equation you get 2 by 3 squared minus 10 cube root of that So now what you do is 3 trees are 9 by 2 minus 10. 9 twos are 18 minus 10. 18 minus 10 is 8. Cube root of 8 is 2. So the limit as x approaches 3 for the function is 2. So this is the limit of trig functions. Right, so we find the limit as x approaches 0. Limit of x approaches 0 for x. Or limit of tan x. Yeah, tan x, right? So find the limit of x of which is 0 for tan x is equal to. Well, we plugged tan into the equation. Tan x is equal to 0, so the limit is, is 0. Because we plug tan, we put tan by 0 is equal to 0. Um, B, the limit as x approaches pi 4 x cos x is equal to the pi cos pi which is equal to so you get pi cos pi put pi into equation so cos of pi is negative 1 is equal to negative 1 so you get pi multiplied by negative 1 which is equal to negative pi that's the answer limit as it puts pi is negative pi let me see limit of x 0 for sine squared x is equal to limit so now in the final limit, so you get sine sine of zero is zero, and if you square that, you get zero.